Hey guys, Crystal here from Elite Hair Care. So we're back with the second part to this morning's video, from my previous video where my client got a pre-cleansing treatment and we talked about how to do the pre-cleansing treatment. So now we're going to do her silk press. Let me bring you guys a little bit closer. So I've already gone through and went ahead and blow dry her hair out. For her shampoo and conditioner, we utilize the Elite Hair Repair and Strengthening Shampoo and Conditioner. And now we're using our Frizz Tamer and Shine Serum as a heat protectant and an added shine or a booster. And then we're gonna do her silk press using this baby here, which is H2 Pro Titanium Flat Iron One Inch. down for me and I think I'm going to use my three tenths of an inch just to kind of get her shorter areas <laughs> so with any silk press like I always say make sure you're using a heat protectant for me, I use the Frizz Taylor and Shine Serum, but you can definitely use any company's heat protectant. But you only want to use a, no more than a dime to a nickel size. You don't want it to be heavy. So she's one of my clients where her hair is always extremely oily. So we did a free cleanse to get a lot of go out. So she'll have a little more longevity with her press. Furthermore, you don't want to press oily hair. All you're doing is literally frying the hair at that point. You want to moderate for me? You want to moderate for me? I do the perfect job. So as I always say in any of my other silk press videos, how you silk press it can be easy or it can be very complicated. So what I do is I pre-blow my client out and I use my blow dryer to my advantage. Her hair is already dry, so I'm using it to just kind of pull her roots out slightly and then straighten the hair a little bit more so I don't have to do multiple passes. So when it comes to the press part, for you to get that root area because the root is really kinky, and let's say you don't have a hot comb, I'm gonna show you. So you're gonna take the hair in your two fingers and you're gonna pull with tension so you can stretch the root out. And then that'll give you a place to put that iron so you can stretch that root out and get it silked out really, really easy instead of you're trying to, you don't have to do all of that. It's really simple. Just little things that you do, your finger movements, placement, that kind of thing. The hair feels nice and soft. What is it? Oh, wow. Half gun will travel. Can you send me that via email? Send your reviews so I can post it on my page. I'd really appreciate you. I mean, I appreciate you either direction for being on my live, but if you can send me that review, that would be awesome. Send it to my email, which is Elite Hair Care or info at EliteHairCareUSA.com, and I'll repost it on my IG page, please, and thank you. And then somebody had a question. Hey, I'm fine, natural, texture natural, and my hair gets weighed down real fast. What can I do? Um, with fine textured hair, that happens, so it sounds like you're using the wrong products. You might want to look into lighter oils if that's what you're using. Um, lighter oils for fine textured hair would be like coconut oil. It's typically carrier oils. The Goddess Hair Repair Serum would be good as well, but here's the thing with fine textured hair, you can only use it once a week. Your hair texture is too fine. 
for you to apply too much. And then it sounds like you're actually touching the hair with the oil. You need to be just touching the scalp. How these roots are really firm, right? So that's why I'm using... <laughs> Your roots are firm, girl. That's why I'm utilizing my fingers to put tension on the head. I'm not necessarily hurting her, but I'm using that to pull her roots out so I don't have to get so close to her scalp. And then that will make the silk out a lot easier and go a lot faster. Hey, yes, it is on the way, girl. I've been working all night. I actually went to bed last night at about, well, this morning at about 3 a.m. from processing orders from the 4th of July sale. That's where I'm at right now. So everybody who has ordered, I'm trying to get everybody done this weekend. I've tried everything to grow my edges after micros years ago. What do I do? Um, a good hair, skin, and nail vitamin, which you're in luck. Today I'm doing a flash sale on the hair, skin, and nail vitamins for a one to two month supply, which is $24. Um, you also need to make sure that if your hairline, I want you to look at your hairline, and if it has a very high shine or sheen, meaning it looks like it's glassy, that means that it's scarred. So, unfortunately, that's almost irreversible. You can't reverse that. If it's not scarred, then you can definitely utilize some extra strength goddess hair repair, a good hair, skin, and nail vitamin, and then you have to stop doing whatever you're doing to your hairline now and give your hairline a break, which I know that's hard, but that's the only way. No product is gonna help you if you're still doing the same things on your hairline. So she gets silk presses every time she comes to see me, which is what, every two weeks now? Mm -hmm. And she still has her texture, guys. So don't let people fool you that silk presses are dangerous. You're not gonna have your texture anymore. Trust me, she has a lot of texture. <laughs> She's nappy. <laughs> she still has all her texture. If I'm doing the live and I don't see your question, I'll comment your, your question in, my, um, in the comments after I'm done and answer for you. I'm trying to get these clients in and out of here today but i wanted you guys to see the end result of us using the shampoo the conditioner the pre-cleanse all that good stuff so one thing i can say with the conditioner and i'm not tooting my own horn i'm just giving you facts her hair detangled in the instant am i lying no it did yes, it detangled in the instant i use the goddess oil i'm going to try it once a week yes do it once a week it might be too heavy for your hair and then you might be putting it on the hair you need to count your drops and then put it on the scalp only you should be counting your drops anyway the goddess hair um, hair repair serum is a luxury serum it's not a serum that you just want to just use too freely you want to really count the drops a little goes a very long way with that serum How do you determine what size flat iron to use when silk pressing? Example, size one and a fourth, two inch. It depends on the client's hair. Um, it's not just the size of the iron that I use to determine that I that I use to determine what I'm. I'm not saying it's not the size of the iron that I use when I'm determining what I'm going to use. It's the client's hair type. So for her, I know for certain that I need a titanium iron. I'm not gonna use two inch because I can't get close enough to her scalp with a two inch because the bed of that iron is too big. A one inch would be my go-to for her length, titanium specifically. And then for her hairline, I'd use um, one, like a quarter inch or pencil iron so I can get really close to the hairline. So when you're looking at the tools for silk pressing, you gotta kind of look at your client's hair and what your client's hair can and can't take. And then look at how close you need to get to the scalp. I would never use a two inch iron for a silk press though. Never. 
not even on long hair. by you guys back a little bit so I can turn my iron or turn my chair so this hair is it needs to be light and airy I had to add serum and shampoo hot oil treatment with serum give shine body it's a godsend thank you so much guys for all of you that are giving me your reviews please email me those reviews so I can add those to my page and spread the word with it to everybody else like reviews are a big thing. So if you can email those to info at elitehaircareusa.com, I would greatly appreciate it. And what people don't know is whenever you send me a review, I reward those who send me reviews. So I send coupons that kind of to those who send me reviews and you get the better discounts. So please send me your reviews. You get the hidden discounts like 30 and 40%. Only because you're sharing your thoughts with me. And I appreciate it. I just love how you tell it like it is. You're great. Thank you. <laughs> I tell it like it is, girl. <laughs> how do you order? So you're going to go to EliteHaircareUSA.com. I wish my moderators were in here today. They could answer you, but they're not here. That's fine. But you can go to EliteHaircareUSA.com. If someone could type that in a comment for me, I would greatly appreciate you. And the comment would be, how do you order? And then give them my website. So this is how the hair should be. The hair should be light and airy whenever you're doing a silk press. It shouldn't be heavy. So that's why, for those of you who are just joining my channel or you haven't, <laughs> for those of you who um, are new to my channel, definitely check out my previous video from earlier today about how to extract or get excess oil out of the hair. And that will show you an easy way of doing it, a very cost effective way. And it's like a, a quick one, two, three kind of step. It doesn't need to take you five minutes. your silk press it make sure you put tension on your iron until you get to the last piece okay you will see the pretty face on the side God is soon <laughs> I know you guys never really see my face when I'm doing my videos. I'm not cute today, so you I don't really care. You can see the face. I'm not cute today though. And then for reviews, it goes to info at elitehaircareusa.com. Please send me your reviews and in return I send you a cute, cute discount. Yeah. And that's for any and everyone who sends me a honest review of the product, your order, whatever, pictures, whatever. I always send out a coupon for 30% off that you can use as a thank you for sending me your review. What does it say? I tried to put the website, but it won't post. I don't know why. So you guys will keep seeing me do this because I'm checking the weight of her hair to make sure that it's not really heavy. Okay. 
drive. Let's drive. Let's drive. Oh, she got those things in her ears. Is it dry? Yes. You can take it off. So I'm gonna do one more video today of a client that we did a beautiful color on. And she's natural. We did a high lift color. We didn't get as high as we wanted to, but you guys will see it in the next live. I want to order a shampoo and conditioner, but I have six in my hand. Wait, wait to release so everyone can get a chance to purchase. That'll be nice. Thank you. Glaze is not playing. Glaze is like, did you speak English in the chat, please? Thank you. Thanks for modeling for me today, Glaze. I appreciate you. So we're at the crown. Once we're done with the crown, we're gonna style her. She's not getting a trim because she actually got a trim a couple weeks ago and her hair looks good. If you see what the difference a trim makes, it makes the hair look extremely healthy. Okay, so I'm gonna silk her edges out using a 3 tenths of the inch iron. This is what you call a pencil iron. For those of you looking for a very small iron, it's called a pencil iron. So for you to do the front hairline, I'll pull you close. All in her face, everything. You just eat everything, okay? You take your iron, you put a slight tension on the hairline, and then you pull and put your iron in. When you put the tension on the hairline, the reason for that is so you don't burn your client. You're already extremely close to their face. When the release of the shampoo conditioner comes out, will it be a separate or remain as a kit? No, I'll have it as separates and then I'll also have it as a kit. But for now, for the pre sale, it's as a kit. Oh, 
all permits out of my hair and it's dry, it seems to soak up. I specifically optimize to you. I don't understand your question. Ask your question again. Glaze, you're awesome. <laughs> Are you going to feather the lady's hair? Uh, most likely. She has layers, so it'll automatically feather with just the style. I cut a lot of layers in her hair the last time we did a trim. I use that. She has a, a lot, like a very dense head. Not. Uh, <laughs> she has a dense head. I just call her big head on YouTube. <laughs> A, a lot of density in her hair. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> so I cut layers the last time she came for her. You okay, babe? Okay. I cut, you all right? You sure? Ain't no insurance in here, girl. <laughs> Don't fall out. I'm going to roll you in the hallway. <laughs> What's the best way for me to get moisture back into my hair using your growth kit? It's dry and sounds crunchy when I comb it. You probably need to do a good amount of like moisture infusion. So you're going to infuse your shampoo and conditioner with some of the um, Goddess Hair Repair Serum. Meaning you're going to drop a couple drops in there one time. You don't have to do it every time. And then you'll sit under a dryer for 20 minutes. If you don't have a dryer, then you need to do it without the dryer for about 30 minutes and you can do that probably once or twice a week just to kind of give you a little bit of moisture back into your hair but it sounds like you also need to go and get a trim as well and get some real hair care going on like a hydration treatment all right let's do our hairline here and it back for me Alright, so we're done with our silk out. We don't need this one. We're going to use my 2 inch because I'm only styling her and that's ceramic. Most 2 inch irons don't come in titanium either, so keep that in mind if you're looking for it to silk. Spray a little bit of Sebastian Schaefer, the light amount. styling will be like 10 minutes max so it's titanium for silking versus ceramic no titanium is for silking but you can also use ceramic it depends on your client's hair or your hair if your hair is damaged i wouldn't really do 
um, titanium because it's, it's just too direct. So then I use ceramic. But if you have a really coarse hair texture, then you probably have to use ceramic anyway. I mean, um, titanium anyway. What do your temperature for fine hair? Silking, my temperature actually stays the same. For silking, I keep it at 450, but I'll do one pass. If I'm styling, then you can change the temperature. The only reason why I keep it at 450 for silking is because I'm trying to get the hair straight, but I don't want to do it with multiple passes. It's safer for me to do it with one pass than doing multiple passes at 400. When you're doing your hair at home, you typically want your iron to be no more than 415. If you're using um, titanium and if you're using ceramic, you can go up to about 425. But make sure you have a heat protectant on your hair. Three trims since January. That's a lot of trim. We're in July. You've only should have gone on to your second trim by this point. You should just be getting to your trim. So for her hair, I always use the saran wrap method. Only because she has really dense. <laughs> she has a dense head. <laughs> I'm just messing around. She has a lot of hair, guys. So for her, I have to use the saran wrap method. Can you, make it, can you turn your dryer on for me? Just turn the timer to like 15. All right, so we're gonna saran wrap her. We're using just regular saran wrap. I get that at the Dollar Tree. It's nothing fancy. And I don't put anything on her hair when it's time for the saran wrap. So how we do this, take your saran wrap, put it over the top. So let go. I'm trying to smother her. And 
and then she'll go into the dryer for about 15 minutes. Unfortunately, I can't stay on live for 15 minutes, and you guys are sitting in open space. So for those of you who want to see the end result, go to my Instagram page, Elite Hair Care USA. Follow me, and you'll be able to see the end result after the wrap method. For those of you who are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button, like, share, all that good stuff. Don't forget the flash sale is today. You don't need a code. The Goddess Hair Repair Serum and the um, Skin and Nail Vitamins are $24. And then you can use code YouTube to save 15%. I am Crystal. I'll see you guys uh, in my next live with my queen there. Bye, guys.